Washington Pod presents Earl Nightingale. Have faith in yourself and the quiet, firm inner knowledge that you can and will accomplish your goals. Know that the answers you seek will come to you in their own time if you only keep looking for them. Above all, realize that money cannot be sought directly. Money, like happiness, is an effect. It's the result of a cause, and the cause is valuable service. Keep money in its proper place. It's a servant, nothing more. It's a tool with which we can live better, see more of the world, give our youngsters the education they need, and a good start in life. It's the means to a happy, carefree retirement in later years. Money is necessary to modern life, but keep it in its place. You need only so much food to enjoy good health. You really need only so much money to live comfortably, securely, and well. Too much emphasis on money reverses the whole picture. You then become the servant and the money the master. As someone once put it, it's good to have money and the things money can buy, but it's good, too, to check up once in a while and make sure that you haven't lost the things that money can't buy. Every person should know happiness in his or her work and home and prosperity. These things can and should be yours. Play this message as often as you can during the next week. Fix your plans firmly in your mind and relax. Keep cool and calm. Be as serene as you possibly can be. You have nothing to worry about. Right now, you may have no idea at all how the additional income you seek is going to come to you, nor how you're going to save the amount you want in a savings account, or how you can possibly arrange for the retirement income you've decided upon. That isn't important. Remember that the only really important thing is that you know what you want. If you do, you will become, you must become, what you think about. Be realistic about your financial goals. Or as you reach them, you can then set higher goals. Trying to jump too far too soon can often result in confusion, tension, worry. Take your growth in sensible, logical steps, remembering that the big thing is that you know what you want and that you realize your rewards will match your service. That is, that you must devise ways and means of actually becoming the person who is worth the amount of money you've established for yourself. Now, a person may be worth more than he or she is getting for a while, but the two will match up. They have to. In fact, unless a person is worth more than he or she is receiving, well, they can't move ahead. They're receiving all they're worth. And it all gets back to the great law that controls everything in the universe, cause and effect. The cause must precede the effect or the effect cannot occur. This is why people who try to get something for nothing are only fooling themselves and earning the disillusionment and frustration they must one day reap. You can have what you want. You need only make up your mind.